it's a little hard to see, but here is our drain cutout. and welcome to Bath and Shower Tile Ideas episode 32. Another one is complete, a very good looking shower, very happy, satisfied client. Let's quickly give you a walkthrough, a tour of the shower, the material we use, the design, layout, waterproofing, etc. Okay, so here is the shower and surround that we are removing today. This was a builder's grade shower. The shower was approximately 30 years old. Very limited waterproofing and there was a big leak on the first floor in the garage. A very large, I would say, three foot by three foot water stain directly below this bathtub. Initially, we thought the leak was coming from the soap dish. It was very loose and there was no silicone or caulking, but after we removed the soap dish, come to find out that the drywall is not wet so we assumed it must be coming from this corner over here because we saw some moldy grout lines. But again, after removing some tile here, this is not wet also. The tub flange is still intact, so we're not quite sure where the leak is coming from. We're assuming it must be coming from the drain here in the tub. Either the overflow or the drain. So, so what we're gonna do is a conversion from tub to walk-in. Install 12 by 24 rectified Carrera porcelain. We're going to install 12 by 24 on the floor here as well. A matte concrete look tile. Install a couple of vent fans, new lighting, paint, baseboard, toilet, etc. So we're gonna get right to it. Okay, we got this wall off in one piece. As you can see there, two layers of drywall. We've got one layer of drywall here and it looks like there was a bit of waterproofing. We have green board here covered with plastic. So more than likely, the cause of the leak will be associated with the drain in this bathtub or the overflow. Because it looks like there is enough waterproofing here. Builders grade with waterproofing. You don't see this very often. All right, so we found the source of the leak. Here is the valve wall. And it's all wet below the valve. So we are assuming water was getting through and penetrating this trim kit cover here. Because obviously it's traveled down, it's wet all over the place below the valve. A simple fix, silicone around this would have prevented this uh, shower leak. We're on day two here. Let's show you what we got, what we're working with. It's a bit of a mess, but all of this is going. So this is our work area. The carpet's going as well, installing large format. We've got a little setup in here. It's a tight, small area. So we do what we can to make it happen. So we've got the monolith set up on our small table. We've got the shower all prepped. Backer board up, waterproof with Schluter, 12 by 20 niche, and we are starting tile on day two. simple pre-planning to get full tiles up to the niche to accept the solid surface for the sill.
it's a little hard to see, but here is our drain cutout for our large format pan. We've got our marks here. We're gonna cut these lines, cut out the drain so that we can get proper pitch and slope towards the drain when it's installed. So let's make cuts and install this large format shower pan. Well, there you go, we have our cuts here so that we can obtain our proper pitch and slope. We simply clean up these edges with our diamond pad and we're good to go. Let's install. Another one is complete, a very good looking shower, very happy, satisfied client. Let's quickly give you a walkthrough, a tour of the shower, the material we use, the design, layout, waterproofing, etc. So here we go, quick tour, quick walkthrough of bath and shower, tile ideas, episode 32. Now this was a builder's grade shower. The shower was approximately 30 years old. Very limited waterproofing and it finally failed after 30 years. So let's show you how we rebuilt this shower and basically go over what we were responsible for on this build. Here we go. We'll first start with the floor. We installed a 12 by 24 porcelain. Now this porcelain is supposed to resemble slate. It has a nice texture to it. Staggered it at a 50% offset. Grout lines are out of 1 16th of an inch. Prism was the grout that we used. Everything is sealed up. So we were responsible for the floor, installed some baseboard. The vanity is stained for now. This was out of the budget. So installed a couple of decorative lights up here. We installed a new vent fan. Let's come on in here. We also installed a vent fan combo LED. Let's quickly show you the shower. Shower turned out fantastic, turned out great. So as you can see, the floor tile flows through the vanity area into the toilet room, up onto the curb, and the same tile is used for the shower pan. Large format tile for the shower pan. This is easy maintenance. A very minimal amount of grout. An alternative if you use a prefabricated shower tray. So everything in this shower, as far as waterproofing, is by Schluter. 100% seal system, walls, pan. We have a Schluter tileable drain and Schluter curb. So let's quickly swing around here. We installed a tiled wainscot. High gloss, 12 by 24, rectified porcelain. Down to the floor. We trim this out with Schluter Jolly all the way around. We also trim the sides of the shower with Schluter Jolly as well. Swing on down here for the curb. We have a solid surface, dark gray quartz. We just finished up with the shower doors. Quick installation on that. 
We'll swing back here again. You've got your wainscot, 36 inches up. Trimmed out as well, mitered, with Schluter Jolly, all the way up to the ceiling. We've got our silicone matching grout at the top, as well as where the two planes meet in the corners of the shower. Let's show you the shampoo niche, 12 by 20. We also installed a quartz sill. We have a glass inlay in the back and we mitered these three corners of the perimeter. Nice, clean and tight miters. It gives it a very clean, modern look. And this helps with maintenance at all, rather than having cord around the bull nose and these type of grout joints around the perimeter here. So, mitered, sill, as you can see, 12 by 24 on the walls at a 50% offset. We really like this tile. Very subtle movement and veins in this Carrera high gloss porcelain tile. We installed a new valve and trim kit, Fister. Black trim kit. And again, silicone in that seam also. Our favorite parts of the shower is the shower tray, shower pan. Large format, it feels wonderful on the feet. Very easy to clean, looks modern tileable drain and we also love that very modern looking niche. Quickly show you the shower doors, semi frameless, barn style. Let's quickly turn on the shower to show you how well this large format tile drains. Everything is sealed up, the shower is ready for use. Proper pitch, proper slope, quarter inch per foot to the drain. I have a number of videos on installing large format tile. If you want to check those out, I'll leave links in the description below. And that is it. Let's shut this off. Bath and shower tile ideas episode 32. Thank you very much for watching. As usual, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you on the next episode.